Since I was a little guy, since I was very young, I decided to cut myself off from the resources of my own life. I decided to cut that off. It was too much. I would not be able to survive. I would not be able to make it. Little by little, the world kept giving me feedback. You're gonna die, you're gonna be killed. My parents will tell me, this is too dangerous. Bring it down, you're too much. My school teachers, they will tell me, that's not okay, bring it down. They will be my student, my, my classmates, they will be saying, you're too much. You're gonna hurt somebody. So I learned to cut myself down. I learned to cut this down. It's too much, it's too much. The pain was too big. I couldn't make it. I had to make a decision. And so I cut down this resource of clarity that is with, within me so that I could survive. And I learned different, different things to do with it because it doesn't go anywhere. It just, it doesn't go out or it doesn't go out clearly and purely. It doesn't go out clearly, uh, directly. It goes out in uh, devious ways. It, I learned to cut it off and, and I just hated the world for fucking, I had to cut down myself to live in this world. What is the purpose of that? What is the purpose of cutting my own energy for living in this world? And so I learned to cut myself and re resent the world for having to cut myself off from, because this world doesn't want me. This world doesn't want this clarity. This world is lost in, 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 in illusion. And I presented the world about this. I say, fuck it. I'm just, I cut myself off, I survive. And then when I'm bigger and, and I'm older and I'm wiser, I'm gonna fucking take revenge on the world. And that, that was my plan. That was really my plan. That was my strategy to survive the world, to hate it, to, to be in this world in a way that fucking doesn't make sense to live in a world where I have to cut myself off. So you can guess how that strategy worked for me. It didn't work so well. After growing up, I started getting cut off from relationships. My relationships will start going into a mess. They will start, I will start getting the feedback. You're hurting me. Uh, this doesn't work. Um, this is too much. And, and again, like I kept getting the, the same feedback. You're, you're too much. So I kept getting more and more and more and more and more down. More and more dead because I couldn't use these resources to, to bring the clarity or to, in, in any way, that it wouldn't hurt others or hurt others. So after being choked so much from the, this decision and this strategy, from being cut off, like I feel dead and the relationships where I am are feeling dead, the, the, the results that I'm creating are a complete mess. So this took me into a journey of exploring what is it that I want? What is it that I'm here to create? And it took me into this extraordinary journey and pathway of my purpose of discovering what I'm here for. And inside of that, it was the awakening of my rage. I had no idea what I was putting down. I had no idea what I was cutting off. And when I started exploring my rage and initiating my rage in expressing it with my voice, my fist, my face, my, my whole body, my whole experience in this force of rage, something inside of me started becoming awake and alive and something started becoming clarity and this is what I want. This is what I want, this, this clarity. I've been cutting myself off all this time from this. So this space, the sounds of rage, is gonna be an exploration for you to discover what is that for you? Where does your rage come from? 
Where does it originate from? Does, where does it feel in your body? How does it feel? How does it sound like? What does it look like? We will be doing distinctions. We will be learning about distinctions and about experiments. We will be doing experiments, practical experiments with towel, with teamwork that will give you a sense from your own experience of this source of energy that is within you so that you can go in that epic journey that is awaiting for you, your warrior awakening, your earth guardian awakening, your protector awakening, because it's here and it's here to be alive, your magician, your lover, these archetypal forces that are within you, they all awaken with your anger and awakening your anger, your force of anger, distinguishing between your pure form of anger and the, the devious ways that we have learned to use our anger, which are not direct, which are for attacking, for hurting others, for manipulating and controlling. So we're gonna be going and exploring these different territories in this work talk and preparing ourselves for that next step in the journey. So thank you for being here and for listening.